now you are pretty much confident about how to do a addition in a multiple ways right and uh, fill in ms excel now let's quickly jump to the next course of action which is our split okay so split is a very beautiful option uh, when we have a larger data sets correct and we want to a uh, segregate those uh, in different different columns right at that particular times split option we use not only split uh, okay we have the another option called flash field right and then we have the delimiter right it takes two columns delimiters we used to uh, daily use in the larger data sheets correct and now uh, I'm going to explain you each part okay and the last section of this particular split option is a very uh, you know uh, confusing I can say right uh, once you understood the concept uh, for the split you are uh, good to go okay so just to concentrate on this uh, split I'll start kicking off the session so this is the uh, dummy data set again and the left hand side which I have already pasted the context over here right in the sales first name type first names uh, that are in the email which is column 9c and the and so on okay meaning so whatever name is mentioned in this email id right we need to add it in the first of the column so which i'm doing it right now okay andy the moment i type andy okay the excel sheet microsoft excel sheet itself you know it's recommending us uh, are you looking out for the first name from the email id so yes i am looking out for so i'll press enter okay so i'll get the entire details in one go this is the quick tip uh for the first name likewise uh you know if you don't want to type any content first name you know or maybe any extractive news particular information you can do a flash field flash field is a very useful option and very beautiful option i would say uh and usually this is a very uh, important option i could say right i'll just do a control z okay to have the sheet ready okay and uh, we can work accordingly together correct now this option is available in the home ribbon tab fill section this is the fill section in editing if you move your cursor over here right this is the editing and then when you click on this option you can see this flash fill you just press over here you can see boom data is in correct likewise uh, you can simply press ctrl e to add the flash fill similar fashion you can do it from here okay or otherwise control e that's complete your call how you want to be a more productive in your daily regime perfect so these are the two ways or methods we have seen so far uh, in this split okay now there is a inbuilt function available in data section okay which you are must be aware but i wanted to showcase you once again okay and when when i move to that particular screen then time you can say yeah i am aware about this sheet correct so this is the split column based on delimiters which is a text to columns bingo okay usually when we work on the larger data sets right uh okay we get the file in a dot csv format okay when we have a dot csv format that time this file format uh, come into the unstructured data way right unstructured data way meaning the data is available in the one column two column or three columns right and the adding a comma there is a no space in between that time what we need to do we need to go a manually and type a like this i'm typing like this d okay this is the first name and then i'll again do a smith north again this is the time consuming for me okay so what i will do okay instead of doing this we have a inbuilt option uh, in data so we'll go stepwise click drag the sale 9c all the way down to so and so right on data tab text to columns make sure delimited is the selected and next so what you need to do select this entire thingy first go into the data section here is option called in data tools itself text to columns okay this is a very important uh, option folks okay 
uh, when we do a data analysis data analytics etl extract transform and load methodology right at the time of data analysis this particular option is really useful and uh, this is how i have opened so i'll again showcase you how it is and where it is available usually your screen is available on the home ribbon tab make sure that you are finding this option on ribbon data okay uh, if your content is not selected okay usually if you click here and then directly click here this will fetch you the error like no data has been selected to parse right and which is right right so we haven't selected any kind of data so i'll just select this data text to column and then delimited this is the my data set the entire data set is added over here no need to worry next and then usually your tab is like this okay checked tab ensure that you are deselecting that and click on the option called comma so in delimited ensure that whenever you have the spaces dot semicolon whatever uh, delimiters available in your data sets you can pick that up or maybe uh, if you don't have available that semicolon space comma tab that is not available and if you have available dash then that time you can do it type it directly dash then it will automatically select the dash and you can pick up the data okay moving on to the concept the concept is basically we we'll select this uh, comma and then next again select this option general destination is c32 okay i already told you in the previous series itself how to identify a cell reference correct so this is c32 c32 means this it means that when i click on finish this overall data will get vanished i don't want to do that right so what i will do i'll click here instead of this i'll pick this as a destination again i'll click over here and then i'll finish just carefully observe you will see the difference and then click on ok you could see the result in real time and real quick perfect this is the third step for the split now we'll uh, go through a formula based splitting for the content usually we avoid this but uh, when we have a you know not major major data sets but uh, semi major i would say right uh, that time we usually this particular option formulas option but uh, whenever we have the when, if, if you are part of wfm team right workforce management team or maybe you are managing any workforce uh, related to your 33 34 resources right limited team that time you can use this option just on a personal recommendation it's not that it's written somewhere but just on a personal recommendation yeah so let's move on to the topic then uh, this is the example dummy data set i have and uh, so over here we have used left and right function adding a find and lane okay the combining this particular combination just carefully observe folks okay again uh, i'm just inserting this shape to make you comfort and understanding in a better way that you know i'm explaining you pretty well so i'm just keeping this a no fill and uh, my content would be no fill and the border would be red and uh, with stroke is like this cool so now i'm just focusing on this so you need to focus over here okay so this is the content right and uh, this particular content if we are seeing it i've just zoom in name inside one cell this is the name and now i'm just moving this to the over here in this particular section so let me make it zoom and then keep it uh, up because i want to showcase you some formula over here correct now what we are seeing it over here so left function and then we have used the reference c56 which is this find what find blank spaces again comma c56 from the c56 itself find out the formula uh, the blank spaces correct uh, and then minus one so whatever uh, blank spaces are available just minus that one and that's give me the result okay so this is the explanation for the left hand side function 
okay let me uh, take a pause over here okay to make you understand once again okay let me try my level best to give you the explanation part like in a demographic way correct so how it works so basically this is the thing and uh, yeah so here we are and this is the left function so left function is basically extract the characters from the left hand side correct c5 that is what my reference c5. is it's a c56 comma find find what uh, so this is the explanation again and find the character position number so position number is finding correct and the spaces the first space of that particular character again in this particular cell which particular cell this particular cell cell 56 uh, c, c, c cell 56 in this particular cell itself we are seeing it and uh, subtracting one exclude the space itself okay so this is the explanation uh, which we have added over here okay you can take a screenshot of it if needed to get understand in a better manner and uh, likewise we have did for this uh, right function as well okay personal recommendation would be uh, from my end uh, as a trainer just go with the data option text to column okay Office easy routine. study correct or maybe flash fill which is a very very uh, easy shortcut key right and you can do it easily correct so this is all i had for the split uh, option so i'll mark this again as a yellow so we can move to the transpose and understand the different different methodologies of the transpose thanks for having me today